You've tuned in to the hottest website from the heart of Thunder Bay, Ontario, Canada. This is NicheTV.com. Hi guys, I'm Richard Ogama and welcome to the highlights of September the 14th, 2008. And I have been covering the Bay Street Film Festival and they have been kind enough to feature three Aboriginal movies. The first one being Front Runners, followed by Ancestor Eyes and Imprint. Front Runners, which is a film uh, made in, in Manitoba and uh, it's about the residential school students that were selected because of their amazing running ability to carry the torch for the 1967 Pan Am Games. 2006 when we came up here to do the play uh, that um, I got to meet Ron and uh, you know I knew um, a good actor when I heard one. It stars Ron Desmoulin from uh, Thunder Bay who is uh, you may you may know from CBC Radio and uh, he actually is an incredible lead actor in the film. I'm uh, uh, Ron David Lang. Uh, I live here. My family's originally from Pick River First Nation just up the, uh, the highway. Um, some of you may recognize my voice more than my face. I'm, uh, I work at CBC Radio so the, the running gag is uh, I have a, a face for radio. So. <laughs> freaks me out every time I see myself up on the screen. As well as one of the original front runners, one of the original guys that carried the torch. I'm a uh, survivor of the uh, residential school. It's the film, uh, you know, uh, pictures, as well as the stuff you see there after the dinner. We also have uh, Ancestor Eyes. Writer director of Ancestor Eyes, which is a short film about a mother and daughter. Daughter gets sick, returns to her mother's home, and they kind of deal with each other. Kalani Kwebo, yes. Is with us tonight. The question was, how did I get Tantu Cardinal, who plays the mother, very young, in uh, the film? I never met Tantu Cardinal, and um, but I wrote it for her. And I knew she was the mother. Imprint, uh, we're really looking forward to. Um, spine tingling, uh, Lakotan thriller. Now, Rodney Dwira is the mastermind behind the making of Bay City the movie, Thunder Bay's very first action flick. And what most people don't know is that one of the production wizards behind the scenes is a resident of Sandy Lake Reserve. Rodney invited me to a private party where I got to hang and smooth it up with some of the actors and crew and to discuss what it's like with Jonas Mikas to work on Thunder Bay's first action movie. Oh, yeah. So what was your involvement in the movie? Yeah, I made the music stuff I did for the film. And how did you do that? I use uh, some icon bolts in there. Alright, what can you tell us about the movie? It's pretty good. I, I loved it. I love all the actors. They're so some are so action packed and, and dramatic and everything like that. And how was it working with Rodney? Very energetic. I, I love working with Rodney, man. He's like the best. We the best, right? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Well, I've been uh, working on music for Bay City, the film, and Thunder Bay for a while. And what's it like to work on Thunder Bay's very first action flick? It's very awesome, man. Like, uh, it's my actually my first uh, project that I ever worked on film with my music. <laughs> and Jonas, how did you get involved on such a big project? Well, we met uh, one time in a place, uh, and after that, we're like, sort of like, you're working on a, f he's working on a film. I was like, and I, he's looking for someone to make music and stuff. It's like, hey, I make music, so. I gave him a CD and everything like that with my all my music, my new, old music, yeah. Now Jonas, if there's other Aboriginal people in the community who want to get involved in media, what type of advice would you want to give them? Just, uh, keep your head up, man. That's all I say. I can say. You've been creating sound for how long, and, and how did you get involved in uh, sound production? Oh, I've been uh, doing it for uh, since I was 13, 14. That's when I started in Sulacod, and that's when I started the name Little Fix. Yeah. 
want to thank all those people that have been tuning in to nishtv.com. If you got any story leads or tips or maybe you want to collaborate on some sort of project, make sure you send all the information to info at nishtv.com. If you log on to my site, you'll see some links that we can connect through Facebook, Babel, MySpace. I'm on YouTube as well. Or add me on your MSN, Richard Ogoma at Hotmail.com. I kind of made the movie, I sort of uh, wrote the script and directed it, and pretty much it. Lexi, you can either kill me or you can let me go. But either way, you're just wasting my time. <laughs> wasting your time. I'm not going to kill you, old pal. We go back too far. You've tuned in to the hottest website from the heart of Thunder Bay, Ontario, Canada. This is nishtv.com.